This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. Rotax 177, who never really need any introduction. But there's one driver that has really been getting to grips with the circuit here at Rowra, and that is Charlie Wally, who isn't taking the circuit lightly and has been getting some welcome seat time ahead of the race weekend. This year we've seen quite a few seniors come up as well, you know, some of the, the taller guys. So it's, it's a massively competitive field and we're having to put a lot of extra effort in this year to make sure that we can fight at the front. There's a lot of extra testing that goes involved. For example, we were at this track two weeks ago making sure that we're at the club meeting and doing the necessary testing. So yeah, there's, there's an awful lot of effort that goes into it this year. Preparation's key at every track, but on a track like this, which I'd say is a real driver circuit, it's very technical, you've got to get everything right so that you can get the most out of the car. Particularly on a weekend as well, like this weekend, where it's wet, it's dry, you know, you've got hot and cold temperatures, so just a, a pound or two difference on the tyre pressure can make a massive difference and see you going backwards or forwards. Race number 17 of the weekend, and it's Michael Cheek, the E-plate holder, Alongside Luke Oliver on the front row of the grid, Cheek won both his heat races and the first final. And now he's going to try and go for the win in this fourth round of the 2019 season. Luke Oliver alongside him on the front row of the grid. It's a good start, first time of asking, and it's an excellent start from the driver in third of the grid, the number 72 of James Beecroft, the championship leader, coming into this weekend. He tries to muscle his way into second, but can't do it. Down towards the first hairpin on this 1,030 meter circuit, and Beecroft has to make do with third place at the moment. It's Cheek who leads from Oliver Beecroft, Jamie Zyra in the number 27 car. Started fourth and has dropped back a little bit, but as they plunge downhill towards the Stuart S's, it is Cheek in the lead, he negotiates the first part of the S is now up towards the paddock once again, through the kick, down the hill towards St John's Bend. And uh, he leads and Jamie Zyra making the move on Luke Oliver for second, Nathan Chafer has come up to fourth place in the number 99 car, the CRG machine. As the sun begins to shine once again on what is a sodden racetrack here in Cumbria. The end of lap number one, it is Cheek, Zyra, Oliver, Chafer, Colin Davis is fourth, then James Beecroft, who has slipped back after a moment, oh and there goes off from third place, Luke Oliver out breaking himself into the first hairpin, onto the gravel, that's the bark actually, he scrambles back on but has lost a number of positions, Michael Cheek finds himself with a little bit of breathing space, as he aims to turn third place in the championship standings into the race lead, into the championship lead rather. Through St John's and Sunny he goes to complete lap number two. The race leader, Michael Cheek, being chased hard now by his Dan Holland racing teammate, Jamie Zyra. Up into third place comes Nathan Chafer at the expense of Luke Oliver. Behind Oliver, behind Chafer rather, is, is James Beecroft. Then Colin Davis, Cole Edwards comes next. And Michael Cheek heads down towards the first hairpin, taking that wide entrance into the hairpin, not using the traditional racing line. And uh, in fourth place, that is James Beecroft getting a little bit leery coming out of the second hairpin. And Beecroft maintains P4, loses a little bit of ground to Nathan Chafer. Chafer not been here before in the rain and is learning all the while the only driver on a CRG chassis in the field and he is making 
Very good progress as the weekend continues. He was not particularly quick in qualifying, but now the number 99 driver on that orange and black liveried cart has really got to grips with the chassis well in a short space of time. The leaders start lap number four with Jamie Zyra setting a new fastest lap. 59.59 seconds. It's down towards hairpin number one. Zyra closing in on cheek now. Up the hill towards Iredales. Second right hand, 180 degree hairpin. The top of the circuit, the highest point of the track. And now down the long back straight with a lake on the driver's left hand side. Hard on the brakes into the Stuart S's. They flick right, left, right again to come out of those S's. Through the kink, down the hill towards St John's Bend using a lot of kerb going into St John's and clattering over the middle kerb at Sunny. So an awkward off camber. Left hander up another sharp incline into Paddock. Early apex. Let the car sort of float out as much as you can from the exit of that. It's complete a lap here of this very picturesque, very technically demanding circuit. And Zyra starting to work over. Cheeky goes to the crossover move. Up the inside goes Zyra. He can't get the cart slowed down in time. And Cheek retakes the position. He looks over his shoulders, Michael Cheek. Probably says to himself, you're my teammate. Can't you wait until the end of this race? We've got ten and a half minutes plus a lap to go. Zyra says, I think so. He goes around the outside. Down the back straight. Takes over the lead of the race. And begin the return. Back towards the paddock. Neck and neck between the two Dan Holland racing teammates. Downhill, under braking for St John's. It is number 27, Jamie Zyra with that green and black wetsuit over his race suit. Now has the race lead. Zyra, who has, uh, didn't compete in the opening two rounds of the championship at PF International, has been in karting for some time, as has Michael Cheek. It's a very experienced driver. Oh, and Zyra's gone off. Zyra outbreaks himself, pushing a little bit too hard, and he's in the bark at the first hairpin. Oh, he took the lead and then threw it all away. He's scrambling back into his cart. Cheek now inherits the lead, and Zyra punches his steering wheel in frustration. He just outbreaked himself ever so slightly, and now he's got to clean the tyres off, calm himself down, and try and pick up as many places as he can. Yellow flags waving as Cheek comes down towards Sunny. The car to the outside of the circuit. Rejoining a lap down. And that will be the number 18 cart of Tim Darlow. Privateer driver of the Tony car. Oh, and he gets in the way a little bit of second place driver James Beecroft. So Nick Beecroft has passed Nathan Chafer. So Beecroft in number 72 is now in the second place. The third cart in the line is a lap down that's Tim Darlow then it is Nathan Chafer in the number 99 cart under pressure from Cole Edwards the Haworth Racing number 11 of Cole Edwards that black and pink chassis uh, livery cart very distinctive as Darlow gets out of the way and lets the lead group go past so sensible driving there from Tim Darlow whose uh, chances of uh, a decent result have gone with that spin Michael Cheek however on lap number Seven with eight and a bit minutes plus a lap to go comes into St John's Bend with a lead of 3.3 seconds over current championship leader James Beecroft in cart number 72 privateer driver behind Beecroft is now Nathan Chafer Nathan Chafer in the number 99 cart has got two four six seven drivers lining up behind him the first of which number 11 Cole Edwards the second of which is the number 20 cart of Daniel Tate, so of Matteo Zanetti rather. The Italian driver Matteo Zanetti and the Tim Wilson Motorsport team. He runs into fifth place, started down in 12th, so it's a good start to this race for Matteo Zanetti, although he's got Colin Davis, the recovering Luke Oliver, Charlie Whaley, and the bright red RS cart, number 10. Then it's Ian Branfield and Jamie Zyra rounding out the top 10. So Zyra in cart 27 
is down in 10th place. But the two leaders are well clear. In fact, Chafer in third place is also putting some distance between himself and Cole Edwards in fourth. Edwards is going to have to hold off Luke Oliver before long because Oliver is looking a little bit racy as they come out of setting up towards Paddock. Branfield, Zyra, Chris Wright, Alex Luck, Carl Churchill and James Moorcroft, the O plate champion in 14th position. Then it's Adam Sadler, Joe Piffner, Chris Thomas. And the rest, now we did have an incident in the first final with uh, Joe, no, with, uh, with uh, Scotsman Alexander Kirkwood who vaulted out of his cart. And he is okay, he's a bit bruised and battered. He did not take the start of this one. Now we're also, you don't see we're missing a couple of drivers from. The other way is Joe Bleakley is down in 19th place in the number 31 cart. He's had a problem and slipped down from the top five. Daniel Tate did not take the start, neither did Darren Whaley. So we've got 23 carts still running. Michael Cheek, 3.6 seconds up the road as the sun begins to shine. Well, the only person now that can beat Michael Cheek is he goes around the first hairpin and comes up the hill towards Iredales. The only person that can beat him is himself because James Beecroft is not closing in on him. Nathan Chafer coming through Iredales in third place. He is 6.3 seconds behind the race leader. He's another three seconds behind Beecroft in second. But he is 1.7 seconds in front of Nathan of Luke Oliver, who has now moved into fourth place. Matteo Zanetti having a storming run in fifth position on that uh, green and white Tony Kart machine, running with the Tim Wilson Motorsport outfit. Zanetti having his best drive of the season so far as is the number 10 cart of Charlie Whaley, privateer on that Ralph Schumacher cart, looks with the, uh, much like a, a Ferrari in terms of its graphics kit. And Charlie Whaley into sixth position at the expense of Cole Edwards, Ian Branfield and Colin Davis with Chris Wright for the Tom Smith international team, rounding out the top 10 at the moment. Luck is 11th, Wright's teammate. Then it's Moorcroft, Piffner, Churchill, Chris Thomas, Joe Bleakley, Taylor Adams, Aaron Yo, Adam Sadler, and the top 20 rounded out by Sam Winter. None of that matters to Michael Cheek, however, who is on a Sunday afternoon drive in the Cumbrian rain. See him adjusting the radiator there to let a little bit more air in as he comes into Paddock Bend. Crosses the line with four minutes to go to complete lap number 11. And his advantage over James Beecroft is increasing to nearly four seconds. Nathan Chafer is clear in third place. So he is, so Chafer, privateer driver. We've got two privateers in the top three. Really good news for the lad and dad teams of the paddock. As they're known in karting terms. No team around them, just family run operation. Pop up awning next to the side of the van. Going karting old school style. There's Cheek for the Dan Holland racing team. Cruising around, counting down the minutes. He completes lap number 12. Followed across the line at a distance by number 72, James Beecroft. Then it's Chafer, then it's Oliver. Now, Matteo Zanetti trying to close in on the number 97 cart of Luke Oliver. Fourth and fifth, Charlie Whaley. The third privateer in the top six. He's not threatening Zanetti at the moment, but Whaley coming out of the first hairpin now in that Red and white car is clear of the two Haworth Racing teammates. Branfield in the number six and Edwards in the number 11. Michael Cheek, meanwhile, comes through the kink. 
heads down towards Sunny Bend. Sorry, St. John's and then Sunny Bend now. And his lead was 3.8 seconds. Beecroft has got it down to three and a half. Two minutes plus one lap to go. The podium positions did look settled. Maybe the battle for top spot is not as settled as we thought. Behind Chafer, Oliver clattering over the kerbs through the first chicane. You've got to use the kerbs through that first chicane to just hook the cart into the correct direction. It's a very, very physical track here at Raura. It's been running karting since 1963. One of the most established venues in the UK. Michael Cheek has absolutely owned it this weekend in Rotax 177. Through St John's. Now into Sunny again. Inches away from that red barrier that is protruding over the kerbs deliberately to, to stop drivers just launching off track which they have done anything to get an advantage even if it comes to the detriment of your steering arms oh and there's a problem for Chris Whaley coming into Paddock Bend Chris Whaley at cart number 10 pulls off and up the hill Whaley the cart has cut out oh tragedy for Whaley out of sixth position that puts Ian Branfield into P6 Cole Edwards into P7 then it's Davis Wright and Luck rounding out the top 10 nobody is in the same zip code as Michael Cheek who had a bit of a wobble lost a couple of tenths a lap ago he's now re-established as leader over three and a half seconds over Beecroft and Beecroft himself is he coming into Sunny now is three seconds in front of Nathan Chafer. Chafer and Luke Oliver taking radically different lines around St. John's than the two leaders. Taking the, the, the more traditional sort of wide wet weather line as we see Colin Davis running wide in the number 70 privateer entry. He loses a place to the two all white and gold Tom Smith international carts of number eight Chris Wright and number five Alex Luck who moved into eighth and ninth places it's been a very very strong drive from Alec, from Alexander Luck and from Chris Wright who retired from the earlier final and Alex Luck was involved in that horrifying incident with uh, Alexander Kirkwood which saw Kirkwood exit his cart at a rate of knots the cart decided to then try and escape the quarry which is the setting for the circuit and climb the bank but uh, Kirkwood is okay, obviously not in this race because the cart is doing a very good impression of a banana back in the uh, paddock as the checkered flag comes out, the checkered flag waves for Michael Cheek, a dominant win on a dominant weekend for the English champion, the E-plate holder, he wins by 3.3 seconds from James Beecroft, Nathan Chafer, a hard fought podium for Nathan his first weekend at Raura in the rain the CRG driver comes home in P3 ahead of Luke Oliver for Coles Racing best result of the season so far for 5th place driver number 20 Matteo Zanetti behind Zanetti Ian Branfield and Cole Edwards finish 6th and 7th for Howarth Racing 8th and 9th for the Tom Smith team is Chris Wright and Alexander Luck and Colin Davis rounding out the top 10 just in front of British Open champion James Moorcroft, Joe Piffner in the Sony cart is 12th, followed by Carl Churchill, Joe Beakley in the top 15, rounded out by Aaron Yo. Jamie Zyra joined Charlie Whaley on the retirement list after briefly taking the lead. But Michael Cheek in cruise control all weekend, and he wins round four of the 2019 British Kart Championships for Rotax 177. Michael Cheek from Dan Holland Racing does the double in Rotax 177, beating Nathan Schaefer for the win by over 5.1 seconds. Whereas James Beecroft, who is just a few points, make that four behind Michael Cheek, rounded out the podium.
for the second Rotax 177 final. Yeah, well up, he. We uh, had a pilot error basically in the uh, qualifying, it was two seconds off. Put a grid 20 uh, for the two heats. Uh, and then just mechanic, JP, like sorted the car out. Uh, got up to second. I had a slight mishap at the top chicane. I got a bit of a spin, but then recovered it back to third. And uh, unlucky to James for his uh, nose cone penalty, which put me to second. So happy with the result and how it's gone all in the two finals. Final two, start raining again, which I was more than happy with. Didn't mind a bit of wet weather. Um, saw Jamie was catching me behind, he overtook me, uh, got into the first hairpin, saw him out break himself, run wide, gutted for him obviously, um, and yeah, just brought home from there really, stay consistent, no faults, absolutely perfect. I just want to say a big thanks to my uh, mechanic this weekend, Pierce, he's been absolutely faultless, he's been absolutely, oh, top job to him, and uh, big thanks to DHR as well for the team and the uh, big setup.